If out of a simple phone, a simple gadget like a phone, you know you're using only seven percent, this most complex and sophisticated mechanism, what do you think is the percentage that you're using? Don't guess, it's too low <laughs> If you just learn to hold this body right, if you just learn to hold this heart, the way you perceive the world will change entirely. Just to sit right, to breathe right, your ability to perceive the world is super enhanced. So yoga is the science of this. Do not… when I use the word yoga, I know in the West you're only thinking of postures. Asanas or postures are a minuscule aspect of yoga, okay? Out of over two hundred and odd sutras in yoga, only one sutra is about asanas and it doesn't describe any particular asana, nothing. It says Sukham Stiram Asana. That means if you can sit in a posture absolutely comfortable and stable, this is your asana. You have… I don't know if you're old enough for this, but when first the television came for you in late fifties or early sixties, you know, you were watching that one channel wonder and Suddenly it went boop, boop, boop. Then you run up onto your roof, there is a bunch of aluminum pipes. You do this, you do that, it doesn't work. But if you get it slowly to that place, again the world pours into your sitting room. <coughs> if a bunch of aluminum tubes can do that, you just learn to hold this body right. Simply learn to hold it right. Everything that's worth knowing is right here. Just, this is a tremendous antenna, if you know how to hold it. Now it's become like this, like that, you hold it like this, like this, it didn't work, what to do? Unless you hold it right, it won't work. So just learning, just paying attention to the body, just learning how to sit, how to stand, how to breathe, how to hold your body, how to hold your mind, how to hold your emotions, where if you hold what, what you will be able to perceive. This is the science of yoga. Can this belong to any particular culture or religion? This must become the universal force on the planet. It is time. These are tools for transformation. These are tools for individual well-being. It is time… it is time that every human being has the tools for his own well-being in his hands, not in somebody else's hands. For a long time, people have been selling these tools to you. It is time, my intention and goal is like how your mothers taught you how to brush your teeth. You don't know when exactly you learnt it, but you learnt it. Yoga should happen like that in everybody's life, then you will see a different kind of world. You will see a peaceful and joyful world for sure, because individual human beings, if they know to be peaceful and joyful, only then the world will be peaceful and joyful. There is no such thing as world, there's just you and me, isn't it? If you and me know how to be joyful, the world is joyful, yes or no? Yes. World want to… should become peaceful, everybody is talking about world peace. Where is a world? It's just people, just you and me, isn't it? If every human being has the necessary tools, it'll happen. When I say tools, you do not underestimate the power of the tool. As human beings, we are who we are on this planet only because of our ability to use tools. Otherwise a dog or a colony of ants would dominate us only because we know how to use tools. When I… in India, this must be understood, all the gods are referred to as tools or machines. Those of you who come from the Indian background, you know deities are known as yantras. The word yantra means a machine or a tool. When I refer to our Dhyana Linga in the yoga center as a tool, people feel offended, Sadhguru, don't say that, it's more than our life. Say, oh, you have a problem with the tool, you do one thing. You come here, you unscrew this screw in this furniture. You either… you can use your… all the ten fingers, you can use your teeth if you want. You unscrew this one screw for me, you will see. You may bleed all over the place, but the screw, screw won't come. But if I give you a simple screwdriver, how simple it is. As there are tools for handling external realities, there are tools for handling subjective realities. 
these tools are called as the yogic science or the technology of yoga. This should not belong to any culture, this should not belong to any nation, this should not belong to any individual. Every human being should have the tools for his own well-being. Thank you very much.